Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello, friends. Hello, gents. Hi, Angie. Hi. Hi, Chels. How y'all doing? Hi, Mandy. Hey, Parker. How's everybody doing? Welcome. Hi. We did pretty good today on the, on the location, huh? It's a very nice place. They're very, ni they're very friendly here, too. Hi, Shayla. Hi, Rachel. Yes, I know I'm early. I'm in Eastern time until next week. So, hi, Mama B. Oh, thank you, Jones. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Lynn. Oh. Hmm. Hi, Faith. Hi, everybody. Hi, Pigeon. New York City's fantastic. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Cass and Tracy and Stu or Stu. Hi, Lydia. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Crystalicious. New York City's good. Hi, Emily and Michaela and Lee and Gretchen. You like the top? I'm glad. Didn't try and keep the, the table from moving around too much today. Out with the parents. Uh, parents are out doing shopping stuff now, so I figured I'd just do a lunch stream solo. Oh, thank you. Kapow. Hi, Laura. New York City's been great, honestly. Last night, we walked around Times Square. We went to the uh, Hershey store, which had every flavor of Reese's Cup that I have ever seen, plus some. Uh, yes, I'm on the East Coast. Oh, thank you, Jen. Hi, Ray. Hi, Misty. It is hot out here, though. I will say, you're going to see me sweat a lot. It is currently in New York. So normally when we're out and about streaming, it's like 50, 60, maybe 70 degrees. Going to New York in October. Nice. Am I going to any Broadway shows? I'm going to an off-Broadway show tonight. I won't say which one. I'll, I'll say which one after the fact. But, um, okay, it is currently, what's the weather? What's the weather in New York City? It's loading. 89 degrees. That is hot. Oh, someone just, did a, did a mail just come through? I'm not sure. Let me just take a look and check. Um, but, yeah, it's hot. It feels very hot. It's also, like actually humid here which is not normally <laughs> in uh anywhere in san francisco 103 in houston louisiana is an oven this year oy vey oy vey oy, 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 oy. turn on your data okay just want to make sure i got everything on the watch working before we like get into this meal hi everybody hi autumn 89 feels like a treat in oklahoma i feel that it's raining in Florida. How's mom and dad good? By the way, how's, is the sound good? The sound's been wonky lately, lately. Oh, thank you, Frankie. Hi, Rachel. New York, it's sick. Oh, okay. I sound good? Okay, good. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline sent $25 for lunch. That is very sweet. That is very sweet of you, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. It's good? All right, thank you. Yes, I am on live more. I mean, I'm earlier than normal. Um, Jacqueline, are you there? Yes, I'm in New York City. Uh, hi, Hans. Is Jacqueline there? I guess that's maybe Jackie, G-A-C-Q-U-I. Is that who just sent? I just want to make sure. That was very sweet of Jackie or Jacqueline. It's, my watch really does not want to check for mail. Yes. Jackie, there you are. Regardless. Oh, it's Jax. Okay. Thank you. It can't, yeah. All right. I apologize. Jax, thank you very much. Everyone say thank you to Jax. Jax sent $25 to start covering this meal. I appreciate it. So, um, I'm going to say the name of the restaurant uh, only because uh, this restaurant is very cool and was excited that I was here and I prepped them so they know the whole deal. Um, are we cool with this mods or would you prefer I don't? What do you think? Regardless, this is a breakfast, lunch, dinner place. Hi, Pamela. Hi, everybody. Go ahead. All right. Mackenzie gives me the go ahead. We're at a place called the Barking Dog in New York City. Barking Dog NYC. So this is like a, uh, I told them like, I'm streaming. Is it cool? If, uh, is it cool? And they're like, yes. Oh my God. Just mentioned our name, ha ha ha. And I was like, I'll mention your name. So there you go. 
Do I have a blog? No, but I do have a podcast. It's called My Trans Best Friend. Nugget would have loved... What would have Nugget? Oh, yeah, he would have. He's good, though. You sound and sound like Nugget no longer is with us, but he is. He is. He's good. Don't worry. Barking Dog. Yeah, it's just like a chill little cafe. Um, I think we definitely want a Diet Coke with lime. Hi, Britt. Hi, everybody. Thank you, a snail called Nell. Hi, everybody. I know there's great places. It kind of blows my mind that it's only 10 a.m. in San Francisco. Hi, user46. Nugget is partying at home with his dog sitter. Yeah. No, I, I know you mean that, Tasia. Uh, I know you mean that. Okay. So we got to keep things on the cooler side today. Like, I don't know if I can deal with... Like, I couldn't do a soup. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to order my Diet Coke with lime. Hi. Could I have a Diet Coke with lime, please? Yes, of course, thank, thank you very much. All right. So, I'm going to read you the menu here. Oh, thank you, user75. What's happening in New York City? We're just chilling. All right. So, we have a kind of like normal diner food here. We've got a classic, you know, waffle, pancakes, challah French toast, eggs benedict, omelets and frittatas, soups and salads. Uh, I don't definitely don't want a soup, but we've got the barking dog cob, which is that sounds good. I do. They have creamy lemon dill dressing. That sounds very good. I'm not going to lie. Hi, Jess. Yes. East Coast time. 9 a.m. in Alaska. Yeah. Wait, is Alaska an additional hour behind? Is that how that works? What time zone is in Alaska in? Because 12, 11, 10. California is at 10 a.m. Am I crazy? Hi, Shay. Hi, Barb. Day's good so far. It's cute how I say soup? Soup? How do you say soup? 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 Thank you. Ivan Ooze. Oh, my God. Ivan Ooze is one of my favorite characters ever. Thank you. Yes. Hi, Britt. Welcome. Britt's been very busy at her new job. 10 a.m. in California. Yes, I am in New York City today. Alaska is an hour. But what do you call that time zone even? These glasses. Oh, I need these glasses for sure. If I take them off. I mean, it's not like I can't do anything when I don't have them on. My prescription is negative two in both eyes. Um, where's the fan bam? Fan bam is doing other stuff right now. They're shopping and just, you know. Um, okay. So soups and salads. They have a cob salad, which I'm looking at. Pear and avocado salad, okay. beet salad, garden salad. I think of the salads, the cob salad is the one. There's an ant on the table. Is there? I see no ant. Now it's not there anymore? Okay, well, keep me posted on the ant. Chef specialties are avocado toast, salmon avocado toast, chicken and waffles, steak and eggs, and fish and chips. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm telling you what, y'all. This restaurant has been so awesome so far. Yeah, Ant Watch 2023. They've been so sweet. Also, plastic straw. Huge. Huge with the plastic straw. Um, they've been very cool about me streaming. They're not playing any music. Like, this is a Lily restaurant right here. I'm very excited. Okay. Avocado toast, salmon avocado toast, chicken and waffles, steak and eggs, fish and chips. They also have burgers that are named after dogs. They have a best friend burger, which is just like a regular burger. Big bark sauce. I'm assuming that's like a Thousand Island type thing. They have a Rottweiler burger that's made with a short rib patty, barbecue sauce, cabbage slaw, crispy shallots and fries. They have an Illyrian sheepdog burger which is a lamb burger with kind of like medit like harissa, feta dressing. They have a turkey dog burger and then a veggie farm burger. Veggie farm dog burger. Yeah. Um, I know this place gets better. This place is really nice. And they've been so sweet to me so far. Way nicer than yesterday. Um, so I'm thinking the Cobb salad sounds good, right? Oh, thank you, Anna. Bye. Hmm. That's ice cold. It's ice cold, y'all. So a Cobb salad done. I think that's 
Cobb salad. What else do we want other than a Cobb salad? I think the rest is just... I, God, I love this place. It's like called... It's not happy hour. It's yappy hour. It's not happy hour, though. They also have a ladies' night. Incredible. Um, okay. Okay. They have fries as well. I could see a burger... Oh, oh, wait, wait, we missed the sandwiches. I didn't even read the sandwiches. Hi, Kali. Hi, Erica. If anyone said hi and I didn't see your comment, I'm sorry. Hi. Hello. Um, okay. There's three sandwiches. There's a black blackened salmon sandwich. There's a crispy buttermilk chicken sandwich, which actually could be kind of good. There's a grilled chicken wrap and a grilled veggie wrap. We're at uh, the Barking Dog right now. Uh, Light Warrior Chris, we are, this is a cider top. How's New York City? It's great so far. It's incredibly hot, but oh, you can see I'm definitely sweating. Hi, Coco, everybody. It's the crisp, the, yeah, the chicken sandwich sounds pretty good. Served on a brioche bun, cabbage slaw, house pickles. Should we ask, we should ask more about the pickles, right? Because y'all know my stance on pickles. If they're sweet, I don't want it, right? But it is buttermilk chicken. I have a question. Are, what is big bark sauce? Okay, thanks. They need sweet. If they make sweet house pickles, they need to be shut down. I agree. Or we just don't order it. Because they've been very nice to us so far. Thank you, Kali Wally. Yeah, I don't like... You love all pickles? I respect pickles across the... Oh, thank you, Amanda. And, oh, my God, Stacy. Let me get to the thanks in just a second. What is Big Bark Sauce? Big Bark Sauce is a red roast pepper sauce. Redded roast pepper? Yeah, a little bit spicy, but it's pretty good. Oh, okay. And are the house pickles sweet at all, or are they, like, dill? A little bit sweet? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. That is good to know. Um, do you have any non-sweet pickles? We have just uh, regular uh, pepper. Could I try one of the house pickles before I order anything? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. <gasps> All right, y'all. Hold your breath. We are going to sample a house pickle. All right. Everyone just, everyone decided all at once to send a lot of incredibly generous gifts. So we are going to... We're going into uh, my inbox to give some very, very nice and gracious thank yous to a bunch of people all at once. Okay, Amanda. Amanda, are you there? We're, going, we're taking them one by one. Amanda, are you there? Amanda sent... Oh, Amanda wants to be friends with them. Amanda sent $25. Oh, it's Mandy! Of course it is. Thank you, Mandy. Everyone say thank you to Mandy. Mandy sent $25 helping covering this meal. It's incredibly, incredibly generous. Thank you very much. While everyone is saying a huge thank you to Amanda, Mandy, Mandy, Mandy Pandy, uh, who's also a very lovely Lily's Lovely. We are next up. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy. Are you there, Stacy? Because yesterday I was looking for Stacy. And because they sent a gift yesterday as well, but they didn't say anything even when I was saying thank you. Is it Stacey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Stacey from yesterday. We know Stacy. Well, everyone say thank you to Stacy. Stacy sent $100. That is huge. Especially once you get into triple digits territory, you are, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, you, it becomes, yes the meal is taken care of. It also becomes helping Lily tackle her other expenses, like rent, like electricity, like all these different things, like paying for Nuggets dog sitter, right? All these different things that allow me to do what I do, Stacy. So everyone's saying thank you to Stacy. Thank you. Stacy, I'm assuming hasn't said anything like yesterday. We appreciate it. Um, can you still not afford rent? I can afford rent because of people's generosity. Who is Lily? It me. All right. And uh, third is Kyle. Kyle, you've been around.
around for a while and we love you. Honestly, you're one of, uh, you're one, I would call you an OG, Kyle. Kyle sent $15. Incredibly generous. Thank you, Kyle. Love you. Kyle is, I, I always know, you're, you're always there when we do the video editing. And I appreciate that. Like, I can count on you to hang out and help with video editing. It is much appreciated. Among other things. Moderating, everything. But thank you, Kyle. So, Kyle, Stacy, Mandy, and the fourth person that we thanked at the beginning is Jacqueline. Jackie, thank you. Jax, excuse me, Jax, thank you. Thank you all four of you. Y'all are the best. Help of making this New York trip possible. Let's try the pickle. So this is, in theory, a slightly sweet pickle. Here we go. No, Kyle didn't get muted. He's a mod. He can't get muted. That's not sweet at all. That's an incredible pickle. Ain't sweet at all. A plus. I taste, I taste no sugar. Maybe that's just me. Ant? Okay, I'm on ant. Well, oh, there it is. Yeah, I see the ant. Goodbye. Thank you. Got it. Got it, Kylie. Thank you. All right, so we're going to do a Cobb salad. We're going to do a buttermilk chicken sandwich. I think that would be good, especially because we can't take things home. We're going to do those two things. Yeah, not sweet. Is it the typical salty New York pickle? It's just salty New York pickle. There's not... Is there dill? Probably dill in there, but not much. It's not like super dilly or super garlicky. It is just good. Yes, I'm in New York City. I'm at Barking Dog, New York City. I'm on a little mini family vacation uh, in New York City. So uh, why can't I take it home? Because I am on the East Coast and I live on the West Coast. Hotel is very good. They're very nice there. I can't give too much away because I don't want to say what hotel I'm at. But um, yes, I have a nice, nice hotel room. <clears throat> My brother and I are sharing a room. And I've learned, uh, I, I hope this doesn't uh, come as too much of a surprise. I snore a lot, a lot. Did I see the murder mystery yet? No, not yet. That's tonight. This is Diet Coke, yes. I had a slice last night. I had a chicken slice with ricotta chicken ricotta slice thank you day nights and i guess i miss nugget terribly my um the best of us snore yeah i look cute today thank you christina um yeah yeah so hotel's good i'm you know my brother and i are sharing about it. it's very very nice location but you check for sleep apnea i have mild sleep apnea uh but not like super sleep apnea just a little bit Thoughts on Coke Zero? I prefer Diet Coke over Coke Zero, but I'm fine with either. I finally became like Yes, I saw that, Carrie. Is it Carrie or Car? I just want to make sure. I saw that. Thank you. Uh, hi, Bella. Oh, thank you. Call me daddy. I appreciate that. <coughs> I should go to Stonewall. Yeah. Um, yeah, my whole family is supportive. Everyone's very supportive. They were on stream yesterday. Snoring is a symptom of sleep apnea. I know. I did, so I did the tests. They put all the electrodes all over me and, you know, had the camera on me all night. And it's my, it was too mild for them to, to prescribe me a sleep apnea machine. So all I do is uh, just the strip, the nose strip. Pickle was great. Thank you for letting me sample. Uh, we're going to do a Cobb salad and a chicken sandwich, please. Uh, that should be good for now. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. There we go. Oh, Sean. Thank you for specifying. It's Shauna, not Micah. I appreciate that. Um, the strip, I don't think the strip works that well. Uh, no, the pickle was perfect. The pickle was perfect. Nugget is okay. He is at home with a dog sitter who's staying in our apartment. Um, yeah, I do the nose strip. So I put, it's like a little sticker you put on your nose that kind of keeps your nose more open, but apparently I still snore. Um, Here's a question, Is that if anyone knows anything about sleep, because I've been wondering. I have an Apple Watch and I sleep with it on. And if you go into like your, no, we didn't eat yet, Gracie. We just ordered um, a little piece you can put at the bridge is better than, oh, interesting. Um, anyway, what was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it tells me that I spend most of my time in core sleep and then deep sleep, almost nothing. 
do I need deep sleep? Am I like missing out on that? Because most of the time I'll get like at most two or three minutes of deep sleep as opposed to like more. I don't know how much I'm supposed to have. I'm always kind of tired. It's probably because I have mild sleep apnea. Yeah. Hi, Catherine. Do I sleep enough to train? I'm not sure what deep means. It's not a very scientific term. I'm not sure. I also sleepwalk really bad. Like bad. <laughs> you never have deep sleep. Deep sleep is needed for rest. Well, then apparently I haven't slept in a long time. <laughs> no, that's REM sleep? Okay. Because normally I'm just in core. Core is where like most of my, my sleep time is. Do I dream? Um, if I do, I don't remember it usually. Um, I'm not getting into REM sleep. Okay. Sleepwalking terrifies me. Y'all want to hear some crazy sleepwalking stories? Because I have them. My body isn't fully shutting down. Well, that's a terrifying and very sad thing to hear. It's what I expected. But maybe I should try and get a sleep apnea. Maybe I should try someone's sleep apnea. I don't know. Um, okay. Y'all, okay, I'll tell you the craziest thing. Sorry. I've, I've told, I'll tell you the craziest thing I ever did sleepwalking. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you the, the greatest hits, okay? So, first off, sleepwalking, genetic, all right? It's genetic. So, my dad sleepwalks really bad. People on his side of the family, my cousin. My brother avoided it for the most part. My mom sleptwalked out a second-story window. Well, <laughs> fun fact, I've done the same thing. I'll tell that story in just a second. So, anyways, it's genetic. Uh, and the thing about it is that a lot of people stop, start sleepwalking when they're a kid and then stop around like 10 or 11. Mine started around 10 or 11, okay? Ooh, the Dark Brotherhood, I appreciate that. I will, I will do my best to join the Dark Brotherhood. What was the name of that guy, Je the Jester guy? That's a fun Skyrim quest. I get your reference. Uh, anyways, so um, I started around 10 or 11 and it got really, it was at its worst in my like late teens like 18, 19, 20. That was when it was the worst. Uh, so the day of the worst thing I ever did, I was watching a nature show like Shark Week and there was a shark that was, oh, Jules, I'm not sure if I saw that. Um, how much earlier did you send a cash app? I mean, just, just want to make sure. Did, did you go through the one on my, my bio? Because I did not get a notification. Um... 10 minutes ago. Okay, hold on. I must have missed it. Let me let me refresh my um my in my inbox. 10 minutes ago. So I see Kyle. I see Stacy, Mandy, Jackie, Jax, excuse me. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. I did, did make sure that you sent to the right one cuz it was at Lily Cantina. Okay. Well, thank you anyways. Everyone say thank you to Jules. I that sound I think that's the right thing. Um, Cash has been having maybe it just didn't give me a notification. Either way, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, if you want to say how much you sent so we can know, feel free. Uh, and, and it probably just didn't send a notification. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, Cash App's having server problems. There it is. There's a delay. Probably that. Um, Okay, do you mind? My daughter has a sweater. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jules. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Hayden. Thank you. Okay, so um, I, anyways, and I had a shark kind of in my head at the time. Uh, and the night I fell asleep and I had a dream. And when I dream, things like I acted out, right? Because I sleepwalk. Um, oh, it's square, if that makes sense. I dreamt that a shark and I was staying in my, I was staying at my parents. I was back from college and I was staying on the second floor. Nope. Did not eat yet. Ashlyn, you're just in time. I had a dream that the shark came to my parents' house, went up the stairs and, uh, tried to eat me, like tried to attack me basically. And I did what any logical person would do in that situation, which is I opened the second story window and I jumped out face first. The way that my parents' house is organized, or at the time, they don't live there anymore. This was like 
almost a decade now. Yeah, no, this was, I would have been 19. So what, like 11 years ago? Wow. Anyways, the way, like, the way, like if I jumped out from here, there's like a little roof that went down. I landed my chin in the gutter. Okay. Chin in the gutter. Uh, so I did not fall all the way down. But I woke up with a bounce of my chin in the gutter uh, and had to just like immediately grab. Did it walk up on its tail? Um, I think it kind of just like was floating maybe. I don't remember exactly. I just remember the threat. Uh, I do remember the candy cane skit, skit. So anyways, I was like, okay. But if I fought, like jumped much further, it could have been much worse. Um, so yeah, that was like the long and short of the worst thing I ever did. It was the closest I ever came to really hurting myself. But I've done some other stuff. Like I, uh, I gave myself a head wound on accident once. I wielded nunchucks once. They were like foam nunchucks, but did I hurt my chin? Not that much. Um, Sharknado origin story. Anyways, so I sleepwalk. Strawberry shortcake. Yeah, that is kind of the vibe I'm going for. Thank you, Lala. Do I worry with my apartment now being high up? Now, here's the thing. Um, sleepwalking is triggered, at least my sleepwalking is triggered by anxiety. Um, so if you can imagine pre-transition, I was just a way more anxious person. I'm still very anxious, but even more anxious back then. So overall, transitioning has really cut down on my sleepwalking just because I'm less anxious as a person. Um, and so, yeah, like, yeah, my apartment is high up, but also it just, I just don't really have that level of sleepwalking anymore. That kind of like violent episode, I just don't have it anymore. Um, hopefully that stays true, but yeah. You know. I've never slept eat. I've never slept peed. Uh, it's really just like, it's like night terrors. Yeah. Um, is it true you shouldn't wake up a sleepwalker? Very true. It is very true. Don't do it. Mods are on fire. Mods are on fire every day. Mm. Oof, Sparky. That's unfortunate. Yeah, and I used to go to summer camp, so people loved watching me sleepwalk there. It was a whole thing. Do I have any jet lag? Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Uh, in that I'm like on Eastern time right now. So waking up at nine is waking up at six. And today my brother woke me up at like 8.15 a.m., which is 5.15 my time. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Could I have some uh, mayonnaise or aioli? Thank you. All right. Uh, what should we do first? Should we do the sandwich or should we do the salad? Maybe we can let the sandwich cool for a little bit and do the salad first. Because it's so hot outside, you know? Do I always remember when I sleepwalk? No, I don't. I only remember it if I wake up, so. I'm coming with you when I go get my kid. Cool. Yes, yeah, so the cob salad looks pretty good. Chicken looks good. Avocado, hard-boiled egg. Looks like there's enough dressing under there. Some greens. This is a cob salad, a good amount of dressing. Oh, nice. They're not messing around with the dressing here. Oh, uh, mayonnaise, please. Thank you. All right. He brought me oil. Thank you, Miss, Miss Herd. Here we go. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Not really good. Not really good. That's real. That dressing, the sprouts, it's very creamy, very rich. And the chicken's well cooked, cooked well as well. That's good stuff. Oh, good. Mm, boom. That guy's like really good. They didn't mess around with the amount of dressing they put on there. You're probably right, Anna McConnell. I said aioli, they heard oil. 100%. Thank you, Emily. 
the cider. This is from cider, by the way, if anyone wants to know. Cider. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Y'all see the fountain behind me? You should be able to see it. I don't know. Can you hear the fountain behind me? This is just a normal Cobb salad. Chicken, bacon, a creamy lemon dill dressing, hard boiled egg, avocado. Mmm. That's good. Oh, we have a chicken sandwich next. It's on my neck. It's the microphone. Well, thank you, Nicole. Is the sizing pretty accurate? I mean, look, everyone's body is different, so it's hard to say, but I ordered this as an XL. XL is usually what I wear, and yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is very pretty. There's a fountain behind me. What? Today I am saying where I am because the people here are very cool and they are understand um, not to not to tell me about any prank phone calls. Uh, this is called the Barking Dog NYC. Uh, no, Anthony, I do not. I am Diet Coke City all day long. This is really good. Thank you very much. Wow, they're not messing around. That's a huge amount of mayo. They gave me like a half cup of mayo. Nah, it's not, I'm more like a quarter cup. By the way, is the camera jiggling bothering anyone? Because if it is, let me know and we can figure something out. But I wonder. Nah. I do something like this if it would help. It is kind of for you? Okay, hold on. Um, okay, 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 I got an idea. I got an idea. I do have a Venmo, yes. Uh, it's in my, my bio. Is this any better? I guess you can't really see the food here then, can you? Mm. <laughs> How about like this? How's this angle? Do we like this angle? Do we like this angle? Because this won't, this won't bounce around. We like this angle? Okay. We'll keep it like this then. This is even better? Good. Hmm. Can I ask an inappropriate question? I mean, I'm curious, so yeah, but it's, it can be inappropriate as long as it's in, in good faith. Hmm. Mm. Oh, good. That's really good. Ooh. Mm. Oh, nice, Jessica. What restaurant? It's called The Barking Dog in New York City. The Barking Dog. Why do American people call burgers sandwiches? We don't. Burgers are like their own thing. They're not really, they're, they're, I mean, I guess technically they're a sandwich, but I don't know anyone who's like, yeah, I want a sandwich and then gets a burger. No, I'm in New York City, everyone, New York City. Sorry, I'm trying to make it so the camera doesn't bob too, too much. There we go. In the UK, they say chicken burger. That's weird. A burger is a burger. It's kind of like its own unique thingy. You listen to the uh, the five ways to spice up podcast. Nice, Gretch. Thank you, buddy. Oh, my autistic son loves your voice. It literally. Well, hi. Well, Bree, if you if you say your if you tell me your son's name, I'll, I'll give him a shout out. My daughter has to write a five paragraph essay: Is a hot dog a sandwich or not? Okay, we can have this conversation. Is a hot dog a sandwich? The the question. Jackson, hello, Jackson. Hi. Thank you for listening. 
Appreciate, appreciate you, Jax. Um, is a hot dog a sandwich? No. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it's not. Come on. It's not a sandwich. I mean, we could talk about, like, the definition of a sandwich, but in this, it is spiritually not a sandwich. There's a podcast. I know. Mythical. It's like a submarine. Well, I guess it is kind of close to a submarine sandwich. I don't know. It, yeah, I kind of, I kind of, that kind of changed my mind a little bit. I think about a sub sandwich, same sort of thing. Maybe it's a sandwich. Eh, I don't know. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. Mm. That is the right amount of dressing. Wow. Yeah, like Mr. Hot dog is a tuber and bread, huh? Hot dog's a taco, but is a taco a sandwich? I don't know. It's 3 30 a.m. and I'm hungry now. I feel that. <laughs> Family's out and about doing New York stuff. I'm we're we're gonna hang out after the stream. I can. Although there's a chance they'll show up. Because I did tell them where I am. By the way, if anyone wants to go and give a five-star review to Barking Dog New York City, they have been fantastic to us so far. Like, truly fantastic. Like, firmly deserving of five stars, if you want to go do that. I'm used to hot dogs having all these toppings. Yeah, I don't know. I also don't eat many hot dogs. Like, I, I can't, I think I've had one hot dog that I can remember in the past couple of years. Just one. Thank you, Bernie. Taco is not a sandwich because it's folded. Okay. That's fine. Is a corn... I mean, yeah. Corn dog's not a sandwich. Hi, Julie. It is yummy. It's very yummy. Am I seeing a show where I'm at? Yeah, I think I think it's in the theater district. I'm not going to say what show, but um, we are seeing a show. You know, I don't even know the name of the show, to be honest. I just know we're going to one. Mm. Stuffed pita. That's not a sandwich. That's more of a calzone than anything. Hi. That is so good. We have a chicken sandwich up next. We're going to finish this first, though. This hits the spot. This was exactly what I needed. Mm. 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 The corn dog is not a sandwich, it's a snack. Well, snack is even more vague. Anything can be a snack. Oh, thank you, Melanie. And Jessica, thank you. It is very refreshing. It's also very, like, flavorful. The ratios are good. It is very warm here. No, I'm not with mom and dad right now. We had breakfast together, and we're going to have dinner and like a show together but um they're out and about today because I, I worked out this morning so like this is my my own solo day morning solo morning i make a sandwich or eat my leftover hash browns um well do you have things to put on your leftover hash browns to make it more than just hash browns you could also put your leftover hash browns in or on the sandwich think about that that could be good depending on what flavor profile you're going for. And some more Diet Coke. Thank you. Diet Coke. They're not looking over here. Excuse me. It's like they're doing stuff. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, eating sunny side up eggs, Mexican rice, avocado, and tortillas. That sounds good. No metal straw. Um, I ha I have it, but they give me a plastic straw, so I don't need the metal straw. The metal straw is only necessary because of the existence of the paper straw, which we have not received today. Could I have more diet coke, please? I, I 
uh, Diet Coke. Thank you. Oop. Uh, where did I eat after yesterday's awful hide? Well, the vibe was good overall on the stream, but where did we go? Thank yes, you can take that. Thank you very much. Uh, we went to a place called La Rivage, La Rivage, which was an incredible French restaurant. Uh, we got, what did we get? We had, I had a New York strip steak, which was very nice. And also, what was the appetizer? We had a couple of salads for an appetizer. And then we had a peach melba for dessert. It was very good. Hi, Lola. How's it going? Uh, where was it? Where is, uh, well, right now we're at the Barking Dog. And they've been great to us. So if you, want, if you wanted to leave a five-star review for someone, today would be the day. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and last night we went to La Rivage, which was excellent. Really good service. Really good food. It was just spending nice time with my family. Sandwich umbrella, hot sandwiches, cold sandwiches, open sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, and wait, wait, wait. Aim, can you be, what, what do you mean? Sandwich, is ice cream a sandwich? I'm confused. Chicken burger at 7 p.m. I know exactly where this is in New York. My partner lives on the street. Nice. Yeah, today I am saying where I am. Not every day, but today. Ice cream sandwiches. I wasn't thinking of an ice cream sandwich. That makes sense. An ice cream sandwich. Duh. Yeah. I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in a hot second. Excuse me. That's that's kind of like <laughs> going on to me. I like your vibe. Thank you, Falcon. Thank you, Peanut Butter Pancakes. Strawberry polka dots. Are so they're actually. Oh yeah, I guess they are polka dots. Is it an ice cream sandwich the same as a cookie ice cream sandwich? Um, I don't think so. I think a traditional ice cream sandwich, what was that about? Someone was like watering plants and because of the wind, the spray of the hose was like getting all over me. So I said, please don't do that. The audio shifted, thank you. Thank you very much. Better? Better now? Worse? Okay, we'll do the other microphone. Better? Okay. Here, I'm going to change the other microphone. Is this good too? This is good too? Better. Great. Perfect. Perfect. Um, all right. I'm glad we figured out the sound. The best, I, this is the best microphone. Like they, they, you can buy it. You can spend a lot more money on microphones, but honestly, this one is the best one and it's cheap. It's like you can get something like this. There's a couple of brands that make them like this, the 15, 20 bucks, really quite good. All right, are y'all able to see? Yeah, there we go. Necklace comes in handy. I know it's also very stylish. There we go. Can we get a hair tutorial? Yeah, I just, I don't wash it or condition it in the shower. I put in leave-in conditioner and that's about it. Um, yeah, I'm using a different leave-in conditioner right now because we're in New York City. And I wasn't able to bring my stuff with me. And, and my parents, or my mom, like before I got here, brought me this, like, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it's okay. It's a little bit different, but it's good. My mom and dad are out and about just doing their own thing right now. Um, yeah. My brother, I think they're all, they, they said they're at TJ Maxx at some point. I bet they're somewhere else by now. Um, yeah, we're going to meet up for like this afternoon. We have a whole thing planned, so I figure we do a solo stream before then. All right, shall we move on to the chicken sandwich? 
chicken burger for you UK people. Yeah, my mom and dad are great. They actually they don't live here. Um, they live in North Carolina, so we're all like in a hotel together. This is a family vacay. Thank you. Yes, parents are very supportive. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit this way so you can see the whole plate. There we go. Like this. Perfect. Yeah, you're from North Carolina too? Yeah, they're in Asheville. Okay. You see the code? Perfect. Uh, this is a chicken sandwich that has pickles, some sort of like red pepper aioli, and some slaw. Uh, We're going to make a fancy sauce real quick. Ooh, perfect. This is fancy sauce. For those wondering, if you don't know what fancy sauce is, it's this, ketchup plus mayo. Roughly half and half. Maybe a little bit more ketchup than this normally, but that's fine. And this is our dipping sauce for the fries. Oh, thank you, Mary. Yep, Asheville. And hey, if you see my parents in Asheville, say hi. Um, they, um, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Those are good fries too. Oh, really good fries. Look at these. These are well done. Good ratio of crisp to potato. Oh, good. Oh, really good. They're all five stars. All right, let's try this chicken sandwich. That's what it looks like. Do I miss Nugget? I miss him terribly. I miss Nugget terribly. Um, do I like In-N-Out Burger? No. I think it's a low-quality burger and also a low-quality people who run it. They, are, they give money to people who argue against my existence, like Chick-fil-A. In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A are, are cut from the same cloth. So, uh, yes, my parents are very supportive. They also chopped up the pickles in a good way here. Mmm. That's good. Mm. The place is two for two. This is like um, a deluxe McChicken. And I mean that as a compliment. I did teleport from SF to New York City. I didn't even have to take a plane. You know what's funny is I got recognized in the airport by someone who was very nice and we talked for like a few minutes and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. And I said, oh, why are you going? Oh, you're going to New York too? Cool, cool, cool. And then it turns out that like both of us were in the same, we were like not next to each other, but he wanted my seat and I didn't, I like the seat he had was fine for me. So we switched. And he was like, oh, thank you so much. Like, no problem. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like a really good fancy McChicken. Very good. Very good. Yeah, silly little interactions. That was very good. It, it looks like a double McChicken. It's much better. And the pickles are really good too. They're not sweet at all. At all. Maybe they put sugar in them, but they're not sweet. Mm. This was the right restaurant. So many times, and y'all know when this happens, we'll like go to a place and the vibes just aren't quite there. You know what I mean? Is that an aioli? Um, on, well, this is fancy sauce. This is ketchup and mayo. I mixed it myself. And on here they have what they call Big Bark Sauce. Because this is a dog themed restaurant, Barking Dog New York City. And um, uh, it, it's apparently like a red pepper aioli. Very good. Thank you to Chloe. Hi. Um, is San Francisco as bad as the news shows? No, not at all. Nugget's perfectly good. He's fine. He's safe. Um, he's staying with a dog sitter who is staying in our apartment. So his whole routine is the same, sleeping in the same place. She's sending me pictures. It's all good. Mm. Mm. Have I been to the Hollywood Cafe? No. I've only had so, like... Not very many meals since I've been here. This is the best club. 
Last night was very good, but it was with my family. It was different. This is like a very nice casual spot to eat. I would recommend this place to anyone. Yeah, car break-ins in San Francisco are a problem, but I mean, there's car break-ins in New York City too. You know what I'm saying? Like it's everywhere. Every city has issues. So does San Francisco. Hi, Wendy Williams. Um, but there's no, it's no worse or better than anywhere else. The top is from cider. Top is from cider. I love your lives. You make me feel content and good, Naomi. Oh God. Harry Styles. Um, I wouldn't call myself a Harry Styles fan. I'm not anti-Harry Styles. I like watermelon sugar as much as the next person. But I don't know. I'm not like, oh my God, I got to go see him. I'll tell you what, I was a One Direction fan. How do I try to overcome anxiety? Um, therapy. And I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a pro at it. I get anxious sometimes. I really do. I, anxiety and depression run in my family. Um, so I don't have all the answers. But therapy. Therapy. I know. We should have, the top is from Cider Pin. Anxiety is tough. Would I ever visit Oregon? Oh, yeah. I was a, I was a One Direction fan because of summer camp. Because, like, I went to summer camp. I worked at a summer camp the years that they were big. So you heard their music over and over again. You can't help but be a fan. One Direction, last tour in Seattle. That's cool. God, it is so hot out here. <laughs> I'm sweating. How do I get over my boyfriend cheating on me? You leave your boyfriend, Mallory. You leave your boyfriend. That's what, that's what you do. Do I take meds for anxiety? I mean, not specifically, no me a year to get a point where my anxiety comes. I feel that. I feel that. It's a, it's a battle. A pill battle. Mm. Mm. Oh, look, you can. Your daughter loves Harry Styles. I feel that. Mm. Mm. Yeah. What I have for breakfast today, asked Ariana. A cold brew? That was it. Med and hydration check. Cheers. I didn't eat much. I, I almost had some fruit, but it wasn't very good at the hotel. I, I sat with my family while they ate breakfast, but like I needed to work out. So this is my first thing. Fries or chips? Well, I'm American, so I say fries. Whole food brew, whole brew for breakfast, yeah. Oh, I, I hear you, Leticia. Where did I land? I landed at JFK. Thank you, Nicole. But yeah. If anyone has any relationship advice or tea that they want to spill here, I'm happy to give it. Mallory, for example, talked about her cheating boyfriend. I would love to learn more, Mallory. You tell me. I do love tea. It's so good. I like fries over chips. Favorite meal? I don't know. I don't have a favorite meal. Couples therapy? You should, Daria. I mean, if you say it, then clearly it's, it's needed. A lot of people who need couples therapy don't go to couples therapy. I prefer fries over tater tots. I'm just going to eat this chicken. Yeah, Mallory needs to drop some details on us. I always feel like a distant friend. I know. Oh, well, thank you. What's your name? Lizzie. Thank you, Lizzie. Am I on vacation? Yes. I'm in uh, New York City right now. Normally, I'm in San Francisco. I want to travel like you. No. I don't travel that much, to be honest. I like staying in San Francisco. I'm kind of a homebody, even though it, it might seem that I'm not a homebody. Uh, I really am. I like chilling at home, quality time, watching movies, playing board games. Yeah. 
fast food french fry, sadly Chick-fil-A, which means that I won't eat it. I can't help but talk to you and others like old friends. No, 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 no. Honestly, like, the Lilies Lovelies are a community. Hey, Mandy, you're in the Discord, you know. A lot of friends have been made via the Lilies Lovelies Discord and this chat. Like, real friendships. I've made friends. Yes, I do, Louisa. Curly straight or waffle fries? I mean, I love waffle fries, but they're not common. I love curly fries, also not common. One thing I will say is I'm not a big fan of shoestring fries. I think they're too crunchy and not soft enough. These are the perfect ratio, or one of the perfect ratios. Like sometimes the McDonald's fries are skinnier than these, and they're also really good. El Taco fries, interesting. How hot is it? It's about 90 degrees, I think. Rally's checkers are great. Those are great fries. No, Mallory. No, just leave him. If he's cheating on you, leave him. Don't cheat back. Don't do that. You know, that's, that, that's just going to make it harder. These are going to be sadder. Get him out. Wendy's fries. They have skin? Is that how that works? Once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah. I want the drop. Oh, yeah, the dump him emoji. Yeah. We have a dump him emoji in our Discord. Yes, I am taking hormones. I'm taking estrogen. I'm teaching him it's okay to disrespect you. Yeah. As long as you can disrespect him back, which is not a good relationship dynamic. Oh, you both don't have to trust each other and you just keep sniping it. That's like the definition of a toxic relationship. And you're, I mean, at this point, Mallory, is if you haven't already cheated back on him, you have the, the high ground. So keep your high ground and just leave. Why do you need to take hormones? Because my body does not produce enough estrogen naturally. In the same way that Sometimes people's bodies don't produce enough serotonin or insulin. My body doesn't produce enough estrogen. Hi from Stalin. Hi Daniela. Hello from the Philippines. So good. Wow. What desserts do they have? I'm not sure. <laughs> We could ask. I'm not sure if I want a dessert. We'll see. We'll see. Will I be on hormones forever? Yes, happily. Now. Oh. Yeah, P PCOS. Yep, PCOS. I can sympathize with having too much testosterone. Oh, thank you, Selena. That is so nice. Selena, are you here? Hi from Finland. Hello. Hi from Brazil and Honduras. Uh, Selena just sent a very nice gift. Everyone, it's S A L I N A, Selena. There you are. Everyone say thank you to Selena. Selena sent $25. Yes, John, I do. Uh, that is very sweet of you, Selena. Y'all are so incredibly generous. Thank you. You're very sweet. Everyone say thank you. Am I an East Coast or a West Coast? Well, I was born on the East Coast. But um, I live on the West Coast. So I would say that culturally I'm an East Coaster, but I feel more at home in, on the West Coast, specifically in um, San Francisco. It's just not as enough safe places for trans people. I would feel more comfortable on the East Coast if like, there was more of a safe haven than San Francisco. But like, yeah. Thank you, Selena. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're very sweet. Hello, Lily from South Texas. Hello. Outfit checks? Well, you can kind of see it all, right? Do, should I stand up and do an outfit check? I can do that if you want. Robert, thank you. Mama Liz. Hey, from Michigan. Would I ever visit the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've visited many times before. All right. I, I can stand up and do a quick fit check. 
Hi, Betty. You can kind of basically see it, but yeah, sure. Here. Ta da! Pretty good, huh? Not bad. My brother's partner is from Alabama. You remind me of her in the best place. Oh, thank you. Hi, Lindsay. Is red my favorite color? Um, Red and pink are definitely the two colors that I wear the most of. I kind of alternate between red and pink. Although to, I do need a bunch of red hair bands, a bunch of red scrunchies. I need to get those soon. Um, yeah, red and pink. Is the weather hot? Yes. I walked off of the plane and it was like 90 degrees at midnight. But, ugh. Do we get to meet uh, Samantha? Oh, thank you, Jamie Holland. Jamie, are you there? Jamie Cash App, $10. It's very sweet. And do you have an Amazon wish list? It's in my bio. Yeah, it's very hot. Um, especially at midnight, right? It was like hotter at midnight in New York City than it ever is in San Francisco, ever. Uh, Jamie, are you there? I'm gonna say thank you to Jamie when Jamie can hear. Oh, I'm a cowgirl. Uh, T, I would say that's relatively accurate. By the way, tattoos are looking pretty great. They're starting to peel now, which is, which is good. Oh, thank you. All right, well, Jamie, if you're watching, thank you. If you're being super modest and humble, I appreciate it. Jamie sent $10. Everyone, please say thank you to Jamie. It's J-A-M-I-E, Jamie. Uh, thank you, Jenny. I'm in Pennsylvania. It's so hot. Yes, and in San Francisco, it's like 70s all the time, so or 60s. Hello from the UK. Hi. Thank you, the L Music Venue. Oof, man, I'm so full. Mommy, eight. I'm sorry. I bet you can. I, I think it's in you. I think you got it. What are the hills like in San Francisco? Crazy. The hills are absolutely bonkers in San Francisco, and I avoid them entirely. Like, sometimes those, the hills are like, you're not going to get away from this hill without sweating your tush off. It's not me. Not me. Do I order ice cream now? I guess we could see. Do you have a dessert menu? Dessert menu? Mm -hmm. Cheesecake okay. and ice cream. What kind of ice cream? Vanilla and chocolate. Um, I think I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Did I go to college? Well, number one, your mom goes to college. And number two, yes, I did. I did go to college. I went to McAllister College. I graduated with a bachelor's in 2015 with a major in media and cultural studies. So a lot of like writing and like film theory, gender, race, all sorts of theories. It was good. I'm glad I did. Even though at the time it was like, I was just kind of like, whatever, I'll pick this. It helped a lot to help me become a better writer and also think about the world in a way that was like, even though I was so deeply in the closet at the time, so in the closet at the time to myself, um, it laid a groundwork for me to eventually be able to think about gender in a way that I needed to be able to think about it. I'd be a great reporter. Well, thank you, Julie. Hi, Lawrence. I am having a meal outside. I should write a book. I don't know what I'd write a book about, though. Went back to school for, I'm not sure what that is. We're in college about the same time, BA and psych. Yep. Yep. I am still in New York. Yep. We got storms and the temperature came down at 20 degrees. Oh, my. Coming in live from New York City, it is Lily Tino. Yes. I'm in a representation class. I do love that kind of stuff. Um, I will say that the amount of writing that we had to do was a lot. Like, I got... You know, it got to a point where I was just cranking out papers like crazy. Um, and it, it was like, it was good. I'm glad I got better at it. 
But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed my major. What was the aha moment of realizing who I really was? Uh, when I put on a wig and, well, I had like a lot of inklings, but like the real moment all solidified is I got a dress and a wig off of Amazon. Because at the time I had really short hair. Um, so yeah, I put those both on and I looked in the mirror and I took a picture and at that moment I was like, yep, all right, that's us. I could see, I could see kind of the road ahead and which is scary, but also very relieving. It was a relief. It was a relief. I think we should probably reapply lipstick, huh? What do you think? Oh, and by the way, my parents just texted me. Let's see. What did they say? Messages. Yep, you're welcome to take it. Thank you very much. Only 15 minutes or so. Gav okay. Yep, I am still here. See you soon. Yes, I am still here. See you soon. Boom. So I guess my mom is going to join us. Uh, so we get to meet your parents. Yeah, uh, yesterday they were on stream, and I guess my mom is joining us. So you'll get to meet my mom. My dad is a little bit camera shy, which is totally fine. Um, not a surprise, <laughs> knowing my dad. So, yeah. My brother, I think, is kind of, he's not camera shy, but he is, I don't think, like, the idea of streaming to him is not really the, like, super exciting thing. My dad is handsome, it's true. Do you take the subway or Uber? I would prefer to take the subway, um, but we haven't really gone too far in any direction. What do I talk about on my podcasts? My podcast, My Trans Best Friend, the My Trans Best Friend podcast. Uh, what do I talk about? Pretty much anything and everything. Like, you know, if you if you like the stream, you will like the podcast. Like, they're not terribly different in terms of vibe. I just kind of talk. And sometimes I have people with me, sometimes not. My mom's name is Nina, Candace, Nina. Um, Nina Contino. She's a saint. Uh, let's reapply some lipstick. I think this is running low, which is kind of weird because I got it pretty recently. Wow, we really got all this lipstick off, huh? By the way, trans-owned makeup company painted by Wendy. They sell these mirrors, which are really nice and convenient, and also uh, a bunch of really great products. Not paid to say that. I just love to see another trans woman doing her thing and being successful. Painted by Wendy. Transo. Well, hi, Apostle. Welcome. Hi, MVP stats. Thank you, Kayla. Favorite, favorite time to dress up for? You mean like informal wear? Because I typically don't do that very often. A wedding, I guess? I don't know. I haven't been to a wedding in a hot second. Last time I was at a wedding, I was like early, early days of transition. Is cider pretty affordable? I think so. It's certainly not expensive. In a, like this was, I probably got it on sale. It would have been no more than a $20 shirt. Oh, thank you, Coco. But I wish I had a third hand. My mods are the best. They're very well organized, too. We have two head mods, Ollie and Mackenzie. And, uh, oh, by the way, can we get, is Ollie here? Ollie, are you here? Totally fine if not, but, oh, the sun really just went away, huh? If all is here, let me know.
Ali, Ninja Arbot. Yeah, they have their own like little Discord chat. It's all there. Couldn't do it without them. Totally agree. We love Ollie. Anyways, if Ollie's not here, please let me know. Please let Ollie know via the voice of Lily. This is the voice of Lily. She is sending you love for no particular reason other than you are awesome. Someone will put that in the Discord. He put this very heartfelt thing in the Discord today, and I wanted to respond to it. Uh, parents accepting right away. Uh, they were accepting right away, and they did. They had no idea. In fact, we talked about it a little bit yesterday on stream. Uh, when I told, because I told them ahead of time, like, "Hey, I've got good news, but I want to say it in person, or I want to say it like over the phone. Like, can we can we set up a time to talk, just to kind of tee it up?" They thought I was going to come out as a gay guy. That's what they thought, because that wouldn't have been a surprise. But they had no idea about the trans transness incoming. I really, we need to hit another, I don't know what happened. This must have just dried out or something, because we're almost out of this. Like I use it a lot, but not that much. Trying to make it a little more even. Almost there. Thank you for your patience. I have a cow named Lily. Her show name is Lil Beef. That is incredibly cute. I am glad to know that fact. All right. There we go. We're good. I missed the chicken sandwich. You did miss a really good chicken sandwich. I'm gonna, oh, you missed a good chicken sandwich. Also, is it about to rain? Can someone, is it a rainy day? It's like this, I mean, I'm happy the sun went away because it was very, very, it like, it's almost like darkness has just, is it about to rain? Rains. I really hope not. <laughs> We're getting like a breeze. The, the, you know, the vibe, it's about to rain vibe where it's like i feel like we have a set like a six sense type thing oh you just cash at me mama bear it's uh, cash apps being weird today but everyone say thank you to mama bear i appreciate that mama bear i'm sure i'll get a notification in like two seconds anyways 52 percent cent chance well we are under an umbrella so that's good that's good and if we do need to go inside they do have an inside of this restaurant that we can run into carbon pollution i don't know that would have been a lot of carbon pollution in the last 10 minutes. Yes, thank you, Mama Bear. I appreciate that. Here, I'll just I'll go to my, my messages just to make sure. Cash App is being very weird today. Very weird today. Yes, I'm in New York City. We are in at a place called uh, the Barking Dog NYC, which you should absolutely, if you're feeling like uh, spreading some love today, go and give them five stars on Yelp or whatever, Google reviews, all that stuff, because they deserve it. They've been really great. Well, thank you, Mama Bear. And thank you for anyone who sent Cash App. And we're, we're assuming I would see it, but Cash App is like totally messed up today. If you sent a Cash App, let me know and we'll say thank you. Yeah, Cash App's been having server issues. It's just right. Yeah, you know what? I, I was on it yesterday and it did have an issue. I didn't even think about that. Why am I always alone? I'm not. Yesterday I was streaming with my family. Show us the view. We're just in this like courtyard. Isn't it nice? So pleasant. My curls are natural. Yes, my hairs are natural. I mean, I put product in it, but I don't like, like it's naturally this curly. Thank you, Phoebe. <laughs> I'm seeing showers from three to four that turn into thunderstorms at five. Okay, that is good to know. I'm not surprised given the huge rain cloud above. It's, I mean, it's honestly kind of like a nice change of pace from the beating sun. Um, 
And hey, if I get wet, I'm not wearing anything that's going to stay wet for too long. Oh, uh, you missed the meal, but we're just chilling. My mom's coming eventually at some point. Coming to meet us. Thank you, Evie. I only wash my curls when I absolutely have to. Um, otherwise, I'm on like the no shampoo system. I, I rinse, but my hair never feels like bad or like like dirty. Um, it kind of settles into a good good place, like a good rhythm. I'm going to live vicariously through you. Happy to be your, oh, the word avatar? Does that make me your avatar? Hi, Ryan. How do you become a mod? You just got to stick around for a while and get to know us. Um, yeah. No shampoo is supposed to be beneficial. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I know some people, oh, is there a bad single? I don't know, it's showing me full bars. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, Tasha, do you have a bad single? I don't want to pin it on your your signal or anything. Skincare. Um, I put on lotion. I've been here for a while. Yeah, Meg. And also the other thing is being on the Discord. No. Uh, signal's good for it. Am I using, what was that thing? Seeing any shows? Yes, I don't know what show I'm seeing tonight. My parents decided. I'm not sure what it is, but we are seeing a show tonight. Yeah, wear sunscreen. I really should wear more sunscreen. This is a tattoo. Yep, it's a. Here, I don't know if I can do it kind of like that. Now yeah, you can probably see it better like this. It's a trans flag part and a lesbian flag part. They're still healing. They're in the peeling phase, and it's looking quite good, especially because we're gonna go and do another color session at the end of the month. We'll do that on stream. Thank you, Wes. Oh my God, there is, that is a major dad stance. Wow. I wouldn't have noticed. I wouldn't have noticed the dad stance until you pointed it out to me. Wild. Yes, Blair, I am. Um, I usually don't wear my hair down. Usually. Usually not. The hands in the, yep. Goodbye. That was a heck of a dad stance. How many siblings do I have? I have one, just this one. His name's Gabe. He's great. He's great. Yeah. I see the thing is like if you didn't know, when you're when you're the one streaming, you can like swipe uh to the right and it will give you a full screen of comments. So you don't have to like look at the little tiny comments. Uh but what it does is it also like I can't it darkens the actual video of me. So like I don't really notice things happening that are behind me. Gabe is great. Oh, thank you, the happy, happiest mess. By the way, the stream has been very nice. Thank you all. I'm this, uh, this has been a very pleasant stream. Very pleasant stream. So thank you all for being here. Not that I'm, I'm not like leaving right now, but I just want to say thank you because y'all are great. I've made my, y'all have in injected a lot of like happiness into my brain today, which I appreciate. My day's been good and now great because of this. Yes, Gabriel. These streams are positive, especially today. I'm going to be honest. You seem like a chill person. Thank you. Am I going to Folsom Street Fair? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, I'll be there. Do I change my glasses or do they have changeable colors? Good question. I have a pair that's pink and I have a pair that's red. Yeah. The Discord you have to subscribe to Patreon for, uh, but it's like five bucks a month on the Patreon and you get access to the Discord which is essentially like a big group chat where we hang out 24 seven. And I talk about when I'm going to be on stream. There's all sorts of channels, emotional support channel, there's a selfie channel. Very good. Uh, Patreon is just a, it's like subscribing to Lily Netflix. Even though these streams are free, if you want to subscribe and help me make rent, you can subscribe. It's kind of just like you get extra stuff, but oh, my mom apparently is around. Looking for me. There you are, mom. My mom's here, y'all. All right, we're gonna nip her, her chair here. I won't be nice to my mom. Hey, mama. Am I on time? Yes, you're just on time. We've been expecting you. It's my mama. Everyone. Could I have another Diet Coke, please? 
with lime. Thank you. Do you want something? But, I didn't eat dessert, but I'm not really feeling. Yeah, we're going out. I do look like my mom. I know. Isn't she gorgeous? She's our mom now. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Love from Ireland. Thank you. You can see I can't, where I kind of get the hair from her. You're, you're curly, just not quite as curly. Although I bet I, I, you've been. I can be curly. You, your rings are larger, though. My rings are larger. The rings are larger. larger. Yeah. Um, what's my mom's TikTok? Elsie Nina. E L L C N I N A. Yes, That's her TikTok. Or you can go follow her. I love hot moms. See, someone loves hot moms. Uh. My, I know she's gorgeous. Just keep pumping her up. Keep pumping yeah, her up, yeah, y'all. Turn, turn up on the screen as often as possible. I get this, this response. Yeah. What's your favorite place in Asheville to eat? I'm assuming. Oh, to eat. Plant. Mm -hmm. You want some water? Yes. Uh, um, do you have a favorite oh, restaurant? I have a bunch of them. Plant is wonderful. Plant is really and good. We're not even vegan, but yeah. we love it's it. good. Um, uh, yeah, white rendezvous. duck tacos. Rendezvous. 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 That's definitely not in the downtown area. It's very nice. Oh, thank you, Miss Happy Rock. She is an incredible My mother. Earrings? Yes, let's see those earrings. Those are nice. Where'd you get them? Yeah. Asheville. There you go. Yeah. Purple. Purple and green are kind of like my red and pink are her purple and green. Uh, does she eat in Chinatown? Does Asheville have a Chinatown? Asheville does not have a Chinatown. Maybe you're talking about very, me. Very little, um, okay. Chinese food yeah. Abigail. Yeah, I've only been to Asheville a few times. Are you in the mountains in Asheville? Are you in the mountains? Yes. 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 Can you hear her on my microphone okay from how far she is? They look like tiny lamps. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the earrings? Yeah. They yeah. What does your, my mom do for work? I am retired social worker. Hell yeah. So I, I know she looks like she's 25, uh, but she's actually 26 and retired. Where did I do you, before, before. Ooh, that's a fun question. Where did your mom go to college? My mom went to Simmons College in Boston and then Columbia for graduate school in the 40s. Simmons? Simmons College. I thought you went to Brown. What, me or my mother? You. Oh, me. <laughs> I, oh, you, oh, okay. Your mom went to Simmons. Yeah. Okay, I my grandma. Got it. University and then I went to Great Park. Okay, hey, hold on, hold on. It's hard to hear you. Say it one more time. I went to Brown University and then I went to Bryn Mawr School of Social Work in Philadelphia. Now you know. She looks too young to be retired. I agree, Lori. I agree. Where's dad? They're down in Italy, Italy, Italy. Okay. Like, live in the Italian. That's a good activity for those two. Good for mama. I know. What's her hobby? My hobby. Do you have a hobby? I still say you should make more art. Yeah, I, I need to do more art. You don't um, need to, I mean, but... I've been wanting to do more art. Um, I, uh, I like to do puzzles, and puzzles. I like to read. There you um, go. And, uh, it, I have my my mom is a uh, social worker. It's tough. Good for her to retire in one piece. Yeah, yeah, it is tough. Uh, we uh, you're on my podcast once. We talked a lot about Pride and Prejudice fanfic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you. Do your art on TikTok Live. That's actually not a bad idea. Do what? You stream on TikTok while Me? you're doing art. Yeah, yeah. I see where you get your young genes from. Well, there you go. What has your what has mom been up to today? What have you been up to today? Uh, Actually, I'm curious too. <laughs> we had breakfast. Okay. At the hotel, and then we went. And that's where we parted ways. Yes. After breakfast. Then we went down. Look at all these people who would watch your art stream. Yeah, seriously. See? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, people would watch your art stream, and also, oh. I mean, first off, you'd have the lovelies, and we could stream so that, like, after I stream, we'd be like, okay, well, I'll pass it off you. to you. It's, it's about you. It's not about no, you. it's about. It's about us. And you're, you made me. So if it's about me, it's also about you. 
Um, what was the question? Uh, all, we're talking about your no, art stream. I don't paint. I was, I was for a little while. I was into um, collage, paper collage. Yeah, I have three of her originals up in my apartment. Yeah, they're gorgeous. What kind of? Yeah, collage. Like, uh, how old am I? How old do you think I am? I want to see how old people think I am, Liz. And don't say it. everyone who knows how old I am. Don't say it. She was talking about the day. Oh, oh yeah, the, the day. day. So the thank day. you, Aim. Thank, thank you. you. See, see, because like you get so sidetracked. I know we went, we went down to um, Washington Square, walked around there, um, nice. had a cold drink, uh, did a little shopping uh, in in Soho. And, keep keep talking. And, Can I have another uh, diet coke, please. Thank you. Then stop for another drink because it's so hot. And then uh, came thank here, you. And then they went off to Little Italy, and I I came. Here to join Lily Street. Here we are. There it is. You would stream. I love puzzles. Oh, they'd watch you puzzle. <laughs> they'd watch. I mean, you, you'd be crazy. People will get thousands of viewers taking a curling iron and putting a popcorn kernel in the middle and popping them one by one. Oh my God. Thousands of people will watch that. People will watch you puzzle, especially if you like hang out and talk while you do it. She I, is cute, Brandy. I, I agree. Not as, I, I don't have the gift to pose yeah, but, as much as you do. I think you could. I would. Hello from Connecticut. Hi. Will my brother be joining? No, probably not. Yeah, he's. Uh, we've we've had like our. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gabe and I went to Times Square last night. You and I. I guess this is like our first, our. Have we? Is it just been me and you yet? I don't think so. Because Dad was there yesterday. Dad was there yesterday. Yeah, and so now he and dad, dad, and now me and dad need to go do something after this. We did an escape room, by the way, last night. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> and said people will pay, th pay thousands of dollars. Thank oh, you very God. much. And we'll have the check as well, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Age reveal. Oh, thank you. I'm 30. <gasps> it's Liz. Hi, Liz. By the way, Liz, your kid is ridiculously cute. Those pictures, I think it was on your story. So cute. Escape rooms are so fun. We did not make it to the. We did not win. We lost. It was the hardest one. You got eighty five percent. They said we got eighty five percent of the way there, and they like walked us through the end of it, and it wouldn't have been that much more. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Friday, Angelica. Looking good at thirty. Thank you. I used to look older. Would you agree? Perhaps. Uh, my brother's younger. The theme of the escape room was cyberpunk. When did you get Instagram verified? Well. Uh, confession, I paid to get Instagram verified. It's like the meta verified you can pay for, but it was because you can't really get Instagram support otherwise, <laughs> not easily. And also at this point, it's helpful if anyone's trying to make like a fake account of me to be verified because you have to like do your whole thing. So it wasn't like, a, oh, they decided on oh, such a big deal to give me the, the thing. Yeah. Did they give me a lemon? Yes. It's a lemon instead of a lime. Yes. Here, will you hold this? Yes. Okay. Or you can just hold it up between us while uh, I go. Okay. Oh, thank you, Fizzy. There you go. Thank you. Uh, looks good. Thank you. Yes. We're doing the lemon and Diet Coke. It's not, but what can you do? All right, everyone. Uh, uh, no thanks. Dollars and cents. How much? Who's your mom's favorite actor? Oh, I, I bet I can guess a couple of them. Uh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. but yeah, guess yeah. how much the bill was today. It, it's flat. Oh, it's good. You got to get, get within a dollar with, with dollars and cents. How much was the meal? And I tip 20%. This is included. Oh, Brooke Adamson. Hello. Early winner. Brooke Adamson got it early on. Brooke guessed 6743. It was 6765, which means that Brooke was 22 cents away. Congrats. Amazing, Brooke. Brooke? Good job, Brooke. What does Brooke win, Mom? <laughs> A hearty thanks. A hearty thanks from Mama Cantina. There it is. Well done. Well done. This is my mother, yes. 
and see where we get the looks from. Bragging rights for the day, exactly. I was two dollars and a cent away. I'm sorry. Oh right, wait. Yeah. Favorite actor? I could guess a couple. I think. I'll get this if you're right. My the first guy that comes to mind is Colin Firth. Was that your answer? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Colin Firth. Colin Firth because Colin Firth was in the 1995 Pride and Prejudice miniseries on BBC. And he's a great actor. He is. He is a great actor. What? I have other ones too. He's the number one. He's probably number one. Yeah. I knew it. See, this is I know my mom. I know Colin. I know Colin. The best Pride and Prejudice. True. My mom. It's true. I no, we didn't get the cool mom hat. No, we didn't. The thing is that we not neither of us really wear hats. That's true. And also, it was a thirty-eight dollar hat. Oh, did we get my mom a drink? What do you want? I, I what, is water good? Do you want like an ice? Are we, are we wrapping up soon? Yeah, like Soonish, but do you want an ice water? Excuse me. It's, good. it's okay. Mama, thir no, Mama thirsty. No, Mama thirsty. Mama thirsty. Yeah, Mama got water. Yeah, but I want to get you ice. Can we have? <laughs> Have a ice. You were looking everywhere except here. Can we have some ice, ice water, like just some ice? Yeah, thank you. Uh, anyways, oh, that's so sweet, Fiona. They flatten, yeah. They mess up your hair. Yeah. What's mom's name? Mom, what's your name other than mom? Nina. Nina. The side profile and smile made me look identical. We look identical, apparently. My mom is the best. <laughs> Nina fan club. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We're twins. I know. It's kind of crazy because I didn't see it until transitioning. How similar we do look. Thanks. We got a spoon with this? It's fancy. I got ice. You just literally fought for me. <laughs> you spoke up. That's like my whole thing. A lot of people don't like it when I speak up. Sorry. We have Nugget merch now. It's time for Nina merch. Ooh. What kind of Nina merch? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. She is very sweet. What kind of Nina merch would you want? <laughs> Mom for Nina for president? Yeah, it's, no. it might rain, by the way. It's going to, you know, I feel, oh, wait, no, that's, that's the stupid thing. Yeah. Mama painting? That's something. Thank you. Mama, also, what? They also have plastic straws here, which is so refreshing. All right, people will buy collage. Well, I'll tell you what. If you make collages, I will put them on my website to buy. Because we ha it's easy. I just put them on there. You're, I'm, I bet people would buy them. I bet people would buy them. Paint with Nina shirts? There you go. Collage with Nina? Favorite not-so-guilty pleasure. Do you have a guilty pleasure? I mean, I know there's one guilty pleasure, but that's not even that guilty. Right? No, a show, a TV show. Oh, TV And Pride and Bridges, but that's like not really guilty, right? Uh, I recently saw a couple that we liked. Um, like what? One that we just saw was called Drops of God. It was uh, it used to be a manga comic book in Japan, and they made it into a drama all along with actors. Oh, that's and cool. It's about the wine world. Wine world. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. Right now, I'm not watching much, but I am watching Ahsoka. Which is fun to watch. Um, got the hair. Yep, one hundred percent. Get my mom to design a T-shirt to sell. Huh? That could be interesting. Design a T-shirt or make a collage and we put that on the T-shirt. Yes, Robin, this is my mom. Ahsoka. It's like the new Star Wars show on Disney Plus. Yeah. Uh, does she like baking shows like The Great British Bake Off? I do. I do like The Great British Bake Off. The dump him merch. Yes, get it. It's good. Dump him. Uh, where's Nugget? Nuggets at home. So was Puffin. Yes. My dog, my mom's dog is, can you tell us about Puffin? Puffin is a year old Shih Tzu who is partially named after Finn, Lily's last dog. Mm -hmm. And um, Coco Puff, who was our, our dog for 16 years. So mm -hmm. Puff Finn. Yeah. Puffin. Yeah. You can get a picture of Puffin up. I have a Shih Tzu called Cookie. Oh. As a fellow Pride and Prejudice fan, I want to know why she loves it so much. Ooh, that's a good question. I can, I can Here, why don't you say that and I'll find a picture of it. Right, it's coming up. Um, I get it. Talk about why. Why you love Pride I like that so much? It's because 
it's because of how the author, Jane Austen, um, portrays people in a way that shows that even though they may have certain mindsets about things, that they can grow and change. And, um, and a lot of the characters do that to a significant extent. And it's also funny. It's funny and it's uh, got a great romance and it's, uh, it shows how people can change. There you have it. There this is Puffin. You don't see. Oh, sorry. Hold on. There. That's Puffin. Isn't he the cutest? I grew up in Florida. So oh, yes. thank you. Emily sent $10. Emily, are you there? Emily sent $10. The Tifis, I know. Yeah, he's got it under my emotions. Well, everyone say thank you to Emily. Emily sent $10. Thank you, Emily. It's very sweet. Hello from the UK. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Such, I know. Puffin will have to be on stream one day. Puffin and Nugget. Yeah. Puffin yes, thank you, Nuggets. Emily. Yeah. Florida. What state did you grow up in, Mom? Florida. Florida. Miami. Miami. Can we ask her about you? Yeah, you can ask her questions. You can ask her. Favorite music? What is your favorite music? I don't know. Or what is my favorite music? I don't know. What's my favorite music? Um, I don't know. A lot, a lot of things. I like a lot of things. I like classical. I like... Um, Was Lily a naughty kid? You can say it. Tell the truth. Yes. <laughs> I did. I was. I was a. I was a. Was I a problem child? I wouldn't say you were a problem child. You were a delightful child. I think I was a little bit. I mean, especially a delightful, incredibly smart child who who I'm waiting for it. Who did <laughs> things? <laughs> well, you're very individualistic. And you like to to stand out for for being different, and um, yeah, so delightful child. Not easy, strong will, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this surprising to anyone? I'm curious. I, I definitely, I, I mean, I think in the eras were different. Like there are eras of, like I, I was like. A crazy toddler, right? I was. You're busy. You're busy. My youngest said hi. Oh, hi. Well, what's your youngest name, Summer? We'll shout them out. Not even a remote. Not surprised at all. Yeah, precocious. Was I a precocious child? Yes. I was precocious. <laughs> yeah, you guys just asked me, it, like, was she this or that, and I'll tell you. Okay. Twins, I know. Yes, this is my mother. For anyone just joining us, wild child, to a certain extent. At times. But, yeah. Busy. Yes. Feel like you could be strong-willed if you needed to be. I am. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I am strong-willed. Stubborn, strong-willed. Was I sassy? Yes. Was I, was I stubborn? Yes. Was I a rebel? Yeah. What was your reaction? Was I determined? Yes. Okay. What was your reaction to me coming out? Surprise. Okay. Okay. Uh, Later, over time, it all made sense. Yes, I'm an Aquarius. Are you an Aquarius? I am an Aquarius. Okay. I don't know what the cutoff I'm on is. The, you're on the early part of Aquarius. I'm at the end of Aquarius. We have the same smile, I know. How old was I when I came out? I was 27, and I'm now 30. So, not terribly long. Off? No, not a show off, but... Lily started drama classes at age five, and she was really good. I was good. Yeah, you were really good. I was in a, a play. I was in like a eight. very big deal play, too. Yeah. Like a lot of kids came on field trips to see the show. Like that was kind of the whole point of it, I think. The reason they put it on was like was school, schools school would pay them to come and see. We were good. Oh, my God. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, that's, Tiffany. That's, so Every, that's not short reprises, is it? It might be short reprises. Extended family that, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. One whole side. One whole side refuses to accept me. An except entire. For, except for a few notable exceptions. Right. But it's a big Pretty side. Much, yeah. So there's only a couple. Yeah. 
I, that's something I have not talked extensive, extensively about on stream because it is still kind of very touch and go. But one day I do hope to be, I'll talk a lot about more about it. Fem favorite memory together. Do you have a favorite memory? I do. What? Well, you were just, I don't know. It's sort of a. You don't have to talk about it. No, no. Okay. Just, She's got one. That's all you need to know. Just, yeah. I have lots of favorite, favorite memories. It has been chatted about in the Discord. That is true. That is true. If you come to the Discord, you can learn all about my dad's side of the family that refuses to accept me. <laughs> uh, do, uh, does my mom ever accidentally mess up pronouns? She does. But I'm going to tell you what, Morgan. As it does hurt, and I think it hurts both of us, but also it's like we talk about this a lot on the stream that there's good faith and there's bad faith. And there's no more good, no one more good faith than my mother. And if there's ever anyone I was going to cut slack, it would be my mother. So there's a lot of love between us. So it's all good. And I try hard not to. She really like does. It. She really and does. I've come a long way. You've come a long way. It's true. Mama, can you share Lily's coming out story if you want? I mean, it's not very. Um, it's not. There's not. There's not. I mean, I can. I, I can say. Well, for, if ahead. you don't want. If you don't ahead, want. Ahead. No, I, I just. I kind of sense that maybe you didn't want to talk about it. No, I can talk okay, about it, but I'm not it. in great great detail but okay you know we were living abroad and we hadn't seen lily or our son uh for a year and a half because of covid and to be clear had, other son gabe my brother other son gabe well not, i didn't say you were son i know i know I, I was being i was clarifying so that no one oh okay i know what you meant yeah i know what so you meant. um we communicated on zoom on uh, facebook and that was our lifeline to each other for a long time and Lily called us and, and told us one day. Yep. And I, uh, for your her immediate reaction her, was very good. Immediate reaction was we, shocked. We, we were probably. shocked. Yeah, we were shocked and very and surprised. But the the next emotion was total acceptance and love. And then over time, both Dad and I learn to integrate it and it took a while it's still you know i think it's a, a lifelong process but was the name change hard to remember at first yes sorry i mean you're getting a lot of hard questions here okay I'm, I'm, i apologize but also it's her? it's it's important stuff that people need to hear yes this is my mother yeah, we do I, look like sisters i remember when lily came out we really desperately needed to talk to other parents who had children come out as trans and so that helped us a lot for you parents who may be new to this has our relationship dynamic changed it's improved you're happier yeah this is fantastic for those struggling so yeah. nice uh anyway i wish everyone had parents as supportive i agree I, I can't imagine someone rejecting their child. Yeah. I mean, if they, that to me, that it, it really teaches you a lot about love and what is love and. Baby, don't hurt me. Huh? Go on. Oh, and what, what does it mean if you can't accept someone for, for them, their true self? So yeah. um, that to me is unconditional love. And that's, that's what Lily's taught me a lot about love in that way, even though I kind of knew it already, but it was, it was definitely, you know, exercising that learning process. Yeah. I knew, I knew that would yeah, always be the case. Facts. Yes. Your spitting oh, facts is good. Okay, okay. Spitting facts is good. Yes. Yeah. Right. When someone says, what do you want a boy or a girl? And we, everyone, most people say a healthy baby. Yeah. I want a healthy child. I want a healthy adult child now that my child is an adult my children are adults healthy and happy you're making a bunch of other moms cry right now oh, you guys yeah yeah to be frank it definitely was not easy mm -hmm. and i worry you know because of the world yeah the world is crazy the world is not nice sometimes yeah, yeah. exactly whoever said that mm -hmm. all the hearts yeah 
And because of that, you'll always have her in your life. 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, anyways. I did see uh, the Barbie movie and I loved it. There you go. See? She has an opinion. I've not seen it yet. So, yeah. My mom is great. My dad is the same. My dad, I think dad, I mean, I haven't talked to dad as much. Dad seemed to have an easier time about it because of because the, he had already been working with trans patients. Yeah. Like he's seen people take hormones and get happier and understand what, like the process of transitioning and how positive it is for so many people. Um, and if you've never met a trans person before, it's, you might not understand that immediately. So Dad's a doctor. yeah, he's a family practitioner. I am a mama for the momless. Yes, I am. As is my mother. Cool. Anyways, uh, that seems like a good note to leave it on. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. We love you for, for hanging out. Thanks for hanging on and waiting for me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to keep working on her in terms of the paintings because I, I think it would be cool. Excuse me. My bad. Um, I don't want to give up my originals, but I wonder if there is one, if we auction, yeah, a Lily series, that'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Yeah. See all these people saying you should do it. All right. We love you. Um, so uh, real quick, just housekeeping, uh, today's Friday, which means tomorrow's Saturday. That is how time works. I don't know what the deal is for tomorrow because my, my flight is at a time in the day where like, I might be at the airport at a time where I'm able to like, my flights at like two or three, I forget exactly when. Uh, so if there's a chance, if I can stream, I will don't count on it, but I will keep you posted in the discord. Um, and if you're not in the Discord, uh, you should join the Discord via Patreon. Patreon.com slash Lilitino. You can get up to the minute notifications on when and where I'm going live. Uh, you can also be friends with all of the incredible people who are on the Discord. Um, every single moderator, they're all there. Uh, is Discord free? No. You have to subscribe to Patreon in order to get the link to join. But it's like five bucks a month. If you think about it like Netflix, that you that's optional to pay for it's like five bucks a month for a lot of streams pretty good um anyways i love y'all and i will maybe see you tomorrow if not tomorrow definitely the following monday okay but i'll be on the discord i'll be posting pictures all throughout the evening on discord and whenever um i have some pictures i need to post as well so if you want to see those i'll be in the discord i love y'all bye bye that's the end stream.